God is good all the time. Put a song of praise in this heart of mine. Good morning, church and all viewers. Welcome to FGCCI Media Channel. We hope that you are all staying safe and staying blessed in the Lord. Wishing you all a blessed new year 2023 with mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. Hallelujah. We are thankful to the Lord for a great year last year 2022. It was a blessed year and we are all refreshed and restored. Praise God. We are also thankful for an anointed FGCCI media service last week, especially the message by Pastor Christy Lumanglas Roca entitled Gift of Giving. Let us remember the book of John, chapter 3, verses 16 to 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Amen. Praise God. I am Sister Kenneth, your presider for this week. Our theme from the Lord for 2023 is Enlarge, Lengthen, Strengthen, and Multiply, found in Isaiah chapter 54, verses 2 to 3. Enlarge the place of your heart and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your cords, and lengthen your stakes. For you shall expand the right and to the left, and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Amen. Praise God. Let us look forward to a year of mighty breakthroughs for His glory. Mighty breakthroughs brings forth great blessings. Amen. May the good Lord continue to use us to be a blessing to many and even unto the nations of the world. And let us continue to be united in prayer for the gospel to reach all nations. Amen. Many thanks once again for your honest prayer and faithful support for our Digital Discipleship Church program. And presenters for this week are the following. Scripture reading is by Brother Jaynard. Worship led by Brother Julius Bonifacio. Exhortation is by Sister Marvick Idolan. Praise God. Followed by the prayer for the nation to be led by Reverend Philip Daniel. Amen. From FGCCI Main Church. Mainly the Word of God, Holy Communion, and Benediction will be shared and conducted by our dear FGCCI Senior Pastor and Spiritual Overseer, Reverend Dr. David Coy. Praise the Lord. Once again, Happy New Year 2023. Stay tuned and God bless us all. Happy New Year, Church. Our scripture for today is taken the from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verses 2 and 8. Enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of thine habitations. Spare not, lengthen thy cords and strengthen thy stakes. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left, and thy seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. Fear not, for thou shalt not be ashamed, neither be thou confounded, for thou shalt not be put to shame, for thou shalt forget the shame of thy youth and shalt not remember the reproach of thy widowhood any more. For thy maker is thine husband, the Lord of hosts is his name, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the God of the whole earth, shall he be called. For the Lord hath called thee as a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit, and a wife of youth when thou wast refused saith thy God. For a small moment have I forsaken thee, but with great mercies will I gather thee. In a little wrath I hid my face from thee for a moment, but with everlasting kindness 
will I have mercy on thee, saith the Lord thy Redeemer. May the good Lord bless the reading of the Holy Scripture. God is good. Good. Church and all our viewers, wishing you a prosperous new year to all of you. Join me to worship our dear Lord Jesus Christ. I just want to love you more and more How 
Blessed New Year 2023. God is all we need for our great blessings and mighty breakthroughs in our lives. Let us continue to draw closer and live by faith in His presence. Amen. I hope you are staying safe and staying blessed in the presence of the Lord. I am Sister Maravik, your exhorter for this week. The title of my exhortation is, How Can We Have the Power of Christ in Our Life? In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. Amen. In the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 to 14 says, In him we also trusted after we heard the word of truth, the gospel of our salvation, in whom also, having believed, we were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, who is a guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, to the praise of his glory. I want to show how we can have Holy Ghost power in our life. Writing in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 11 says, In him we were also chosen having been predestined according to the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. Apostle Paul speaks of the inheritance we have received in Christ, being predestinated according to the purpose of him who works all things according to his will. In other words, God always intended. From the beginning, from the very foundation of the world, before God created heaven and earth, God had already planned another kingdom, another world, something far more glorious. Here is only our training school. This is only our preparation. Jesus taught us that for what we do here, we will receive a reward there. There are rewards in the kingdom of God based on our faithfulness on earth. By what we achieve down here, our whole experience here is looking forward for something future. The Christian life we have at the moment is not the end. It's only the beginning. What we have down here is not the whole glory of salvation. It's not the whole glory of what we have in Christ. It's just a forced taste, a glimpse into the future of what will be ours. Amen. God has chosen us to be the praise of his glory. We who first trusted in Christ. All of this is coming about because of our trust in Christ. In the book of Hebrew, chapter 10, verse 35 to 38 says, Therefore, do not cast away your confidence which has great reward, for you have need of endurance, so that after you have done the will of God, you may receive the promised. Now the just shall live by faith. Faith is confidence, and confidence is trust. The Apostle Paul taught in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 35, says, Do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You have faith in someone when you have confidence in them. You have trust a person because you have faith in them. 
The challenge to all of us is, don't throw away your confidence. Or put it in another way, do not throw away your faith. Faith is a gift. It comes from God because our faith is in Him. But our responsibility is to not lose that faith, that confidence. Faith brings a reward. Apostle Paul concludes, the just shall live by faith. Amen. In the book of Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 says, Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If we want power with God, it begins with our faith, our confidence, our trust in God's ability to do what He says. Hebrew 11 describes the phenomenal power of faith which made these people in the Old Testament so strong that they were able to overcome everything. They saw something more than this life. Like Moses, who chose to suffer for God rather than enjoy the pleasure of sin. They could do this because their fate was a fate in the impossible. The be and because it was fate in a future kingdom. With Abraham, it was the promise that he would be the father of a great nation. And out of Abraham would come the whole Hebrew nation. But he himself never saw the fulfillment of the vision. But he lived and died in faith believing that God would fulfill his promise. Live in faith. We are not citizens of this world. We're citizens of the heavenly father, of the heavenly kingdom. I am already living in the anticipation of what is to come, of what will come in the kingdom. No sacrifice is great. If we just enjoy the pleasures of this world, there's nothing compared to what God will give us in the future. So live by faith. That is a gift from God. Amen. God bless us all. And have a blessed day. Amen. God is good all the time. Put his good morning, church. And to all our viewers, today, Pray for all the nations for the year 2023. I'd like to wish you all a blessed new year. Let's pray for the nations of the world. Lord God, we come to you, O Lord, to your throne of grace. Pray for the nations of the world, o Lord. And Lord, we just pray that we want to receive your peace for the world, Lord. Because Lord, in John 14, 27, you say, Peace I live with you, my peace I give you. I do not give you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Oh yes, Lord, oh yes, Lord. We put this prayer of peace, oh Lord, for all the nations of the world, oh Lord. Your peace, it is not of this world. Your peace, oh Lord, that will guard our hearts, oh Lord which will give us to feel calm and have confidence in you in this year of 2023. Lord, oh yes, Lord, let your will be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord, for the world, for spiritual revival and great harvest of souls, Lord. Oh yes, Lord, when there's peace, Lord, we pray, Father, we can move, we can move with the spiritual revival, touching hearts and, and speaking the gospel to many, oh Lord. Let that be this time, O oh Lord, of the year 2023, a year where nations will come to know you, Lord, through revivals and great harvestings of souls. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. We know you are such a great God. You are a God that is full of love. You are a God that is full of mercy oh yes lord 
Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. We know, Father. We know, Father, that you are a God that will bring spiritual breakthrough, oh Lord, in the nations, the kingdom of God to advance in the nations, oh Lord. True, your breakthrough, Almighty God, Lord. Lord, as we come to you with a humble heart, Lord, we just pray right now, Lord. We just pray right now, Lord. Because, Lord, we know that breakthrough, breakthroughs come from you blessing the nations, oh Lord. And we know it's a year of breakthrough, oh Lord. And we pray, Father, we pray for that blessing, Almighty God. We pray, Father, for that blessing, oh Lord. As we look at your word in number 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you, keep you. The Lord makes his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. The breakthrough, true peace comes. Breakthrough, oh Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. The spiritual breakthrough flowing to the nations, oh Lord, in the year 2023, oh Lord, for the advancement of your kingdom, oh Lord, to the nations, oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Let there be a cry of hearts, oh Lord, to move, to move into this will, oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Bring in the blessings, the blessings upon nations, oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Let, let, Lord, let, as, as we come together and pray, O oh Lord, let your, there be a mighty open heaven upon all these nations, O oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. A mighty open heaven, O oh Lord. We pray, Father. We pray, Father. We pray, Father. We pray, Father, that there will be unity among the nations, O oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Especially places in the, in the Middle East, places in Europe. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. We pray for that for that peace that surpasses all understanding. We pray for your will. Let your will be done, oh Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh yes, Lord. We shout hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord. In this season, in this season, oh yes, Lord. Oh yes, Lord, of a new year, 2023. Oh yes, Lord. We claim your power and your glory, oh yes, Lord, upon the nations, oh yes, Lord, upon the nations, oh yes, Lord, oh yes, Lord, you are a great God, you are an awesome God, we pray all this in Jesus' mighty name. Morning Church and all our viewers, I'd like to wish all of you a Happy New Year. May this New Year bring you great joy and mighty breakthroughs. Praise the Lord. Thank you once again for tuning in to FDCC iMedia channel. I hope that you are richly blessed by this week's New Year Media Service message. And I also hope that you are inspired in the Lord. I'd like to take this Time to thank all the presenters for their wonderful efforts, especially Sister Kenneth for her wonderful presiding and also Brother Jay for his excellent scripture reading. I also want to thank Brother Julius Bonifacio for leading us into a wonderful time of worship. I also want to thank Sister Meravig for her excellent exhortation entitled How to Receive the Power of Christ in our life. Hallelujah. I also want to thank Reverend Philip Daniel for his prayer for the nations for this year. I'm your speaker for this week and once again wishing all of you a happy and blessed New Year. I'd like to read a portion of scripture found in Psalm 16 verse 11 This is This is 
the word the Lord gave to us for last year of 2022. You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Last year the Lord gave us this theme, a time of refreshing in the presence of the Lord and a year of restoration. Hallelujah. And we are also blessed even last year by God's word and we are all being refreshed and being restored. I heard many testimonies of restoration as well. So really praise the Lord. And let us look forward to this year. For this year the Lord has given us a new team. It's the, it's the year of mighty breakthrough for His glory. It's found in Isaiah chapter 54, verse 2 to 3. Enlarge the place of your tent. Let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare. Lengthen your cords. Strengthen your sticks, for you shall expand to the right and to the left. And your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. Hallelujah. That's a wonderful word from the Lord to enlarge, to lengthen, to strengthen, and to multiply or expand the year of mighty breakthroughs for His glory. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this year of 2023. Lord, we thank you even for last year of 2022. Three, Lord, that you have refreshed us and you have restored us again and you renewed our strength that we can look forward to this year of 2023, the year of mighty breakthroughs of God. That we continue, O oh Lord, to move forward, O oh glory, into your will and purpose as a church and as a people, O oh Father God. And as the church of FGCCI, O oh Lord, we thank you, Lord, that this year will be a year that we enlarge, to lengthen, to strengthen, and to expand, O oh Father God, for the glory of your name, O oh Father. O oh Lord, truly, Lord, we look forward to this year of mighty breakthroughs. Hallelujah. And Lord, our hearts are filled with joy and with great expectation, knowing, O oh Lord, that you are leading us and guiding us all according to your will and purpose for your church and for our life. And all this, O oh Lord, we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Once again, a blessed new year, 2023. And you have the Bible, please. Turn with me, hallelujah, to Isaiah 43, verse 19. Isaiah 43, verse, I read from verse 18. Do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Even as we look forward to this year of 2023, we have to look forward with the right spiritual attitudes. My message this year and this week is entitled The Right Spiritual Attitudes for the New Year. Spiritual attitude is so important. If we have the wrong spiritual attitudes, we are always see things wrongly or we always see things from a negative perspective. Even though when even blessings may come, but we even see it with a negative perception. So the right spiritual attitudes for the new year is so important. And someone say a bad attitude is like a punctured tire. You cannot go anywhere unless you first change that tire. That's why it's so important. I'm sharing this message to you in the beginning of the year. In fact, 
in the first week of January for you to understand and for you to know that having the right spiritual attitude is so important for you to receive mighty breakthroughs and great blessings from the Lord for this year of 2023. Right spiritual attitudes. Many people are defeated by small problems it's not because of the problem but because of their attitude because of their negative attitude that's why they are defeated at the same time I see people who overcame impossible odds something that looks impossible and yet they're able to overcame by the grace of God because of the right spiritual attitudes and this how that's how king david overcome goliath hallelujah and that's how the people of god overcame the giants in the land of canaan and it's so important to have the right spiritual attitudes if not if someone has a wrong spiritual attitudes they will take a molehill and make it into a mountain. But when you have the right spiritual attitudes, a mountain can become a molehill. That's why a right spiritual attitude is so important for us to move forward in the coming year, in this year of 2022. Even though the Lord has given to us his team, the year of mighty breakthroughs. We still need to have the right spiritual attitude to receive these mighty breakthroughs where great blessings will follow as well. So that's why I'm sharing this message to you. The right spiritual attitudes for the new year. There are three things that we need to leave behind when we are already in the year of 2023. Many years ago, I was shifting house or into a new place, it's like, it's like a new house. Everything is clean, the house is clean, new house is clean. We bring along some boxes with us And as I put those boxes on the floor and suddenly I saw the cockroach begins to run out from that box and into the new house. And I realized that the new house don't have cockroaches, but my old house have cockroaches. I bring my old house cockroach into my new house and they dirty my new house. Many times people are like that. They bring the, their old things, the bad things of 2022 and they bring it into this year of 2023. We should leave behind the bad things. And today I want to share with you what are the three bad things that we need to leave behind. We can learn from it but we need to leave it behind because in Isaiah, 43 verse 18 to 19 we read just now in Isaiah it says do not remember the former things nor consider the things of old behold I will do, no, do a new thing God wants to do a new thing God wants to give us a new blessing a mighty breakthrough for the year of 2023 but we must make sure we don't bring the old things onto the new year I just want to share with you what are three things that you need to leave behind in 2022 or in the past and don't bring it to this year of 2023 with your mighty breakthroughs. Number one, don't bring your hurts and your disappointment of 2022 into the year of 2023. Leave them behind is for last year. Or maybe you're disappointed last year by certain things or certain people or certain circumstances or maybe you're 
hurt by the words of people last year or offended in some way, just leave it behind. Just tell yourself, I'm not going to bring this into this new year, 2023. Forgive them and leave it behind. Leave a disappointment behind and move forward because it's a new year. Behold, I will do a new God. Is, I will do a new thing. God is wanting to do new things, so we must not let the old things cloud what God wants to do. The new, the new blessing that is coming, or the mighty breakthrough that is coming in your life. Just leave the hurts and disappointment behind. Forgive those who have offended us, or in any way with the words or actions, leave them behind. Just move forward. Hallelujah. Let's move forward. And disappointments, we just leave it behind. Hallelujah. Let's be encouraged this year and be ins being inspired this year because God wants to do a new thing and to bring mighty breakthroughs upon our life and for the church. Hallelujah. And number two, if you have failed last year, whatever failures that you may have, maybe in your job or in the ministry or in relationship, just leave them behind and move forward to the new year of 2023. Don't let those failures hinder you from moving forward to the year of 2023. Because this year, God will grant you new strength and new opportunities, new blessings, you know. Hallelujah. This year, God will heal your hearts and bring for breakthroughs in a relationship. So move forward with the Lord. Leave your failures behind. Don't think too much about it. Don't rehearse it. Just leave it behind. And learn from it. We learn from our failures, we will become wise. And our failures of the past will become pillars of our success and blessings in the future. And I say it again, our failures of the past, we learn when we learn from it and gain wisdom, it will become the pillars of our success and blessings in the future. Hallelujah. In fact, we learn more from our failures than from our success many times. Because failure something happens to persevere. Help us to renew our mind. Help us to think differently and gain wisdom. Hallelujah. That's why failures can become pillars of our future success and future blessings. Praise the Lord. So leave our failures behind and move forward in the year of 20. 23 to receive your mighty breakthroughs and great blessing that will follow hallelujah and number three leave our fears behind sometimes we might be fearful of certain things and god say fear not be strong and i'll be of good courage that's what the lord told joshua before they enter the promised land of canaan because it is filled with giants the lord told him to encourage the people. Do not fear. Fear not. Be strong and be of good courage. Don't leave your fears behind in 2022 and in the past and move forward to this year of 2023. Move forward in faith. Hallelujah. The fear may hinder you last year. Don't let the same fear hinder you this year. Let us move forward this year with faith. Hallelujah. And with bonus. As the Lord say, fear not, but be strong and be of good courage. Hallelujah. Because you're going to have and you're going to receive your mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. When you move forward in faith in this year of 2023 with the Lord. Hallelujah. That's the theme that the Lord has given to us. A year of mighty breakthroughs. To enlarge, to lengthen, to strengthen and to expand. Hallelujah. Praise His holy name. I encourage you to leave a fear behind and move forward in faith. Hallelujah. Do not ponder about it. Do not consider or think about it. But always focus upon the Lord for He is with us and He is for us and He is working through us 
to bring forth mighty breakthroughs and great blessings for the year of 2023. Hallelujah. So these are the three things I would encourage you to leave behind as you move forward in this year of 2023. Remember, it's not the problem that many times overcome us. It's our attitude. When you have the right attitudes, you can overcome any situations or any problems that you may face, even in this year of 2023, that you may receive your mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. Hallelujah. So the Lord say in John chapter 16, verse 33, we have good cheer. I have overcome the world. Hallelujah. That's why the Lord wants us to have this overcoming spirit, this right spiritual attitudes of an overcomer to receive our mighty breakthroughs and great blessings that is in stock for us this year of 2023. Hallelujah. And next is what are the three things that we should expect for this year of 2023? For the right expectation is so important for us to move forward in this year to receive our mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. The first thing that we need to expect is let us expect a great year. Let us expect a year of mighty breakthrough as the Lord has given to us this theme. Let us move forward this year with that expectation that it will be truly a year of mighty breakthroughs. You may not have received your breakthroughs last year or even in the previous year, but believe and expect that this year you will receive your mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. Number one, expect that this year will be a great year for you and for me. Hallelujah. That is the right expectation because the Lord has gone ahead of us in the year of 2023 and has prepared the way for us. Hallelujah. And even as the uh, Israelites were commanded to enter the promised land, while Joshua had entered the promised land and he met this angel, commander of the Lord, whom the Lord has sent before him to prepare the victories for him. So let us expect a year of great, a mighty breakthroughs because the Lord has gone ahead of us to prepare, to prepare this year for you and for me. That we can receive our mighty breakthroughs with faith and with great expectations. Hallelujah. And number two, let us expect great favor from the Lord and from people as well. So when God favor us, God will cause people to grant us favor as well. And sometimes favor is so important. It's so important. Favor is so important to receive mighty breakthroughs. Whether you are working or where, whatever business that you are in or whatever ministry that you may be involved in, expect great favor that comes from the Lord. Expect great favor in our relationship that God will cause us to meet the right people will cause the Lord will divinely appoint us to meet people that will bring forth mighty breakthroughs and bring more opportunities in our life because we receive favor from God as well as with men hallelujah so expect great favor that will come upon your life this year that will bring forth great opportunities for you hallelujah and number three expect great opportunities yes I say it again, expect great opportunities and open doors for you. Hallelujah. For this year of mighty breakthroughs. You have not you may not receive great opportunities in the time of the pandemic or even last year when the world just begins to open up again. Let it be the this year, let it be the year that you will receive your great opportunities of open doors. 
hallelujah, of great blessings, great opportunities that will lead to great blessings and mighty breakthroughs for you. Hallelujah. It's so important to have that expectation of heart. Expect great opportunities to come to your life. Expect great opportunities to come upon you. Hallelujah. As you serve the Lord, as you move forward in the year of 2023, trust, put your trust in the Lord. Expect great opportunities to come. Expect God will open doors and no man can shut. He shut doors and no man can open. God can open a mighty door of opportunities for you that you may receive your mighty breakthroughs and great blessing. Hallelujah. And in conclusion, I just want to leave with you three things that we must see. First, we must see opportunities in the midst of our trials or problems. In number chapter 14 verse 6 to 10. But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jephunneh, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes. And they spoke to all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, The land we pass through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then He will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Here Joshua and Caleb are of the chosen spies that went to spy out the land of Canaan. The story goes and ten leaders came and gave a bad report or negative report about the land because of the giants. But only Joshua and Caleb gave a good report and have the faith in God because they are able to see the opportunities in the midst of the trial. They are able to see the blessed, great blessings in the midst of the giants and, in, in, and they know if God is for us, who can be against us. That's why Joshua and Caleb encouraged the children of Israel to go forth and possess the land because they see opportunities in the midst of the trial. So we must learn from the faith of Joshua and Caleb to be able to see opportunities in the midst of our trial. Hallelujah. So that's the first thing that we must see, opportunities in the midst of trials. Hallelujah. Great invention comes when the inventors saw the opportunities that, that they are facing the problem that they face, they saw opportunities in it. That's why great things are invented because of that. And number two is found in First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. We must be able to see victories in the midst of seemingly defeat must able to see victories so that we can persevere and overcome the seeming defeat that is upon us. That's so important. That's in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, say, Thanks be unto God who grant us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our God is a victorious God. And the Lord has granted us victory to overcome our trials and our situations, so we must able to see the victories in the midst of our defeat. Hallelujah. Because God is able to see us through. God is able to work out the miraculous. Hallelujah. And God is able to do the supernatural to bring forth the victories before our eyes. And Moses and the children of Israel, maybe two or three million of them, as they were as Pharaoh let them go and they travel and they come to the Red Sea and the Pharaoh changes mind and uh, begin to pursue them and chase after them from behind and, they, and now they come and in front of them is the Red Sea and they seem going to experience defeat and a calamity 
The Bible says God opened the Red Sea and did a miraculous that the children of Israel were able to pass through the Red Sea and become victorious against the Pharaoh's army. Hallelujah. We must be able to see victories in the midst of our defeat because our God is a victorious God who is able to lead us to victory. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 57, say, Thanks be unto God who grant us victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise His holy name. And the third thing that we must see, we must see God in the midst of our circumstances. John chapter 16, verse 33 says, These things are spoken to you that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulations or trials or problem but be of good cheer I have overcome the world here the Lord is trying to remind us he's always in the midst of us he will never leave us or forsake us so we must be able to see God in the midst of our circumstances see God's hand see God's work see God's solution and see God's victories in the midst of our circumstances because Jesus said, thanks be all. And because Jesus said, I have overcome the world. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. The Lord knows that we will encounter tribulation, encounter problem, or circumstances, adverse circumstances. But He said, be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So we must be able to see God's hand in the midst of our circumstances. God may send, the, may send the right people to help us to see us through and guide us victory. Or God may work in certain manner in the midst of us to bring forth, turn our situation around to our favor. We need to see God. Hallelujah. In the midst of our circumstances. When King David was facing Goliath, he see God in the midst of his battle. He did not go alone to challenge Goliath or fight against Goliath. He said, the Lord of hosts is with me. The Lord of hosts will deliver me from the lions and from the bear. He will also deliver me and grant me victory over you. And I will cut off your head. That's what David told Goliath. And he runs towards him because he see God in the midst of his circumstances because God is in the midst of circumstances he's working in our circumstances because Bible say all things work together for good or those who love God and call according to his purpose so whatever circumstances that we are in God is working now for our good when we have our trust and our faith in him so let us see God in the midst of our circumstances Hallelujah. To share the simple testimony, many years ago I was fetching uh, my dear friend of mine back to Philippines uh, in, uh, uh, in General Santos in Bindana. In fact, some of you will know him as uh, Reverend John Devella, a good friend, a dear friend of mine. And we're traveling on the highway and I turned to Palm Petro, because my car likes of Petro, I turned to Palm Petro. And as I come out from the petrol station and onto the highway, there's still many kilometers to go. Suddenly I realized that my tire is having some problem. The car couldn't move properly, so I have to stop behind and look at, and truly my tire, my rear tire on the left hand side was punctured. And it was, uh, it was daytime, it was in the afternoon, it was for me to change the tire, it will take some time and it will be very sweaty and, uh, and it will really take some time because I have to go and take out the tools and it's, and it's under the hot sun. But, but lo and behold, and I realized that there's another vehicle following me and he stopped beside me and he asked me, what is the issue? I say, my tire is punctured. And he said, oh, we are from the highway patrol, you know we are highway patrol vehicle 
and you say you just relax we are happy to change your tire and I just we just move to the side and uh, and the shady place and they just in within five minutes they just change the tire for me if I were to change maybe it will take up an hour we might, might be concerned with the flight as well if I were to change but they are so expert they just five minutes they just change everything not even need to pay anything because it's part of their service hallelujah so God is in the midst of my circumstances during that time God is in the midst of our circumstances and you can send the right people you can turn situation around because he knows what we will go through hallelujah so remember to see God in the midst of our circumstances do not complain or murmur or be fearful just remember God is in the midst of our circumstances that you can see his solution to the situations that we are facing hallelujah now hope that you are blessed by this new year message for this week and for the year the right spiritual attitude for the new year hope that you move forward in the new year with this right spiritual attitudes and leave behind the three things that I have told you and have and expect the three things that I have shared with you and also expect and also remember to, to expect the three things was able to see the three things hallelujah when you're facing your circumstances in this year of 2023 Praise the Lord. Let's bow his and pray. Father, we thank you for your word, for the new year, God, the right spiritual attitudes for the new year. Lord, we thank you for your hand, O oh Lord, that's upon our lives, that's upon our church at BCCI. Lord, for your guidance, O oh Lord, and for the mighty breakthroughs that you have prepared for us, for the great blessing that shall follow as well. Father, I declare blessings, O oh Lord, upon your church, upon every viewer, God. That this year of 2023 will truly be a year of mighty breakthroughs and great opportunities and great blessings for them, O oh Father God. Oh Lord, that they will see you, oh God, in this year of 2023, working, Lord, your, your blessings, working, Lord, your solution, bringing forth, O oh Father God, your blessings upon their lives. And Lord, as the word says, O oh Lord, be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Lord, we thank you. The hearts are filled with peace and with joy. Lord, knowing of God, Lord, this year 2023 is in your hand. Lord, you are guiding us and leading us, Lord, to your will and to your purpose and to the mighty breakthroughs that we are in store for us, God. Bless, Lord, your people, I pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, church, and all our viewers once again for tuning in to FGCCI Media Channel. May this year will bring you a year of great joy and mighty breakthroughs. And this is the first week of the month of January and also the, also the first week of the year of 2023. Let's prepare our hearts to partake of the Holy Communion by singing the song is your blood that cleanses me it's your blood that cleanses me it's your blood that gives me life it's your blood that took my blood
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, coming from heaven to earth, two thousand years ago, Lord, to redeem us and to save our soul. Lord, we are eternally grateful for what you have done for us. Lord, today we want to remember, O oh Lord, your finished work on the cross, your broken body, and your shed blood. Thank you, Lord, for your compassion, for your mercy, and for your grace. You love us, O oh Lord, while we are yet sinners. I love you, O oh Lord, because you have first loved us and laid down your life for us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Church and all our viewers, let us prepare our hearts for the Holy Communion. And you are from the body of Christ and you are born again Christians, you are most welcome to join us in participating of the Holy Communion. However, you are still searching for God and yet not received Jesus as the Lord and Savior of your life, kindly refrain from joining us. Right now, let us lift up the emblem of the cup and the bread before thy throne of grace. And let us pray. Father, even as we lift up, Lord, emblem of the cup and the bread before thy throne of grace, bless, Lord, this emblem of the cup and of the bread. Bless the people, partakes of it, that healing will flow to their body and blessings and favor will flow to their lives. Give you a moment to prepare our hearts before we partake of the Holy Communion. Then we will partake it in a worthy manner, a heart full of faith and a heart full of mercy and grace. Remember to forgive those who have hurt us. And remember to partake in this emblem of a heart of faith. I'd like to read a portion of the scriptures found in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 onwards. For I received from the Lord the which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the same night in which he was betrayed took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Church and other viewers, let's partake of emblem of the bread, which symbolize the broken body of Jesus in remembrance of the Lord together. Five. In the same manner, he also took the cup after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. This do as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. As often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death till he comes. Church does partake of the emblem of the cup that symbolize the new covenant in his blood in remembrance of the Lord. Song. I will 
will sing of your love forever. Thank you once again, Church, a lot of viewers for tuning in to FGCCI Middle Channel. Thank you for, for participation in the Holy Communion. I'd like to once again wish you a blessed New Year and a year of mighty breakthroughs for you. Hallelujah. And as usual, we're going to give our tithes and our offerings to the Lord. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, even as we lift up Lord His tithes and His offerings, before thy throne of grace. Bless, Lord, this giving of God for the advancement of your kingdom, for the glory of your name. Let the gospel of the kingdom will be preached in every nation till the day of thy coming. Lord, we thank you to return back your blessings upon every giver, a hundredfold, sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. And let this year be a year of mighty breakthroughs for every giver as well, O God. Lord, in all this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, church, and all our viewers once again for tuning in to FGCCI Middle Channel. We all let us all look forward to a great year of 2023, a year of mighty breakthroughs and great blessings. A year the Lord will enlarge us, lengthen strengthen and expand us for the glory of his name may you receive your mighty breakthrough this year as well as your great blessings before i conclude the service for the year i would like to give you a benediction let's close our eyes and hearken to the benediction for this year may the lord bless you and may the lord keep you may the lord cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious towards you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and grant you peace. May the Lord stretch of His hands of favor and of blessings and of providence and of protections upon you and upon your family and upon your loved ones. May this year be a year of mighty breakthroughs for you, a year of great opportunities and a year of great blessings that will come your way. You have the right spiritual attitudes to move forward into this year of mighty breakthroughs. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Remember to stay inspired, 
and say bless in the Lord always. Jesus.